Good morning all. Today we will discuss action potential in nerve fiber. Before discussing action potential, we should know what is resting membrane potential. It is the membrane potential of a nerve fiber at rest. What is action potential? Action potential is the brief sequence of changes which occurs in any excitable tissue on application of a threshold stimulus. For the nerve fiber, the resting membrane potential is minus 70 millivolt. When we apply a stimulating electrode, it leads to certain changes in the membrane. Due to leakage of current from the stimulating electrode to the recording electrode, a deflection is recorded on the graph. This is known as stimulus artifact. Stimulus artifact is followed by an isoelectric period which is known as latent period. This is due to the travel of impulse along the nerve. The latent period is followed by a depolarization phase. What happens here is there is opening up of sodium channels. Due to opening up of sodium channels, the resting membrane potential changes and reach to minus 55 millivolt level. At this level, is, there is more and more opening up of sodium channels. This level is known as firing level. Opening up of sodium channel leads to a rapid change in the potential from minus 55 millivolt up to plus 35 millivolt. This is rapid depolarization. After depolarization, there is opening up of potassium channels. There is efflux of potassium out of the cell. Simultaneously, the sodium channel closes, leading to the change in potassium plus 35 millivolt towards baseline. This is known as repolarization. This rapid depolarization and rapid repolarization is called spike. During this repolarization phase, at minus 55 millivolt, there is slow efflux of potassium out of the membrane. This is known as after depolarization. When it reaches the minus 70 millivolt, there is still more efflux of potassium out of the membrane. So it leads to if the action potential goes beyond minus 70 millivolt. This is known as after hyperpolarization. It comes back to the normal level by sodium potassium ATPase pump. This whole process is known as action potential. Important points to remember. What is resting membrane potential? It is defined as the membrane potential at rest when no stimulus is applied. Define action potential. When an adequate stimulus is applied, there is brief sequence of changes in resting membrane potential called as action potential. What is latent period? It is the period between application of stimulus and onset of action potential. Write ionic basis of depolarization. Depolarization occurs due to opening of sodium channels and entry of sodium ions inside the cell. It causes positivity inside the cell so membrane potential moves towards the positive side from resting membrane potential. Write ionic basis of repolarization. Repolarization occurs due to opening of potassium channels and efflux of potassium from the cell. It causes negativity inside the cell so membrane potential moves back towards the resting membrane potential. Right ionic basis of half after hyperpolarization. 
after hyperpolarization occurs due to slow prolonged efflux of potassium from the cell so membrane potential goes negative beyond the rmp what is the effect of decreasing extracellular sodium concentration on action potential fall in extracellular sodium concentration decreases the size of action potential what is the effect of increasing extracellular potassium on action potential rise in extracellular potassium concentration reduces the potential difference across the cell membrane thus rmp becomes less negative so neurons become more excitable what is the effect of decrease in extracellular potassium concentration on action potential fall in extracellular potassium concentration causes more potential difference across the cell membrane so rmp becomes more negative thus neurons become less excitable thanks for watching